Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking about shaders, more specifically water shaders. After watching a video by Jasper RLC about the scrolling textures in Super Mario Galaxy 1 and spending some time playing around on the Honey Hive Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1, I decided to give replicating these effects, water effects a try using the Unity Game Engine and Shader Graph. Now I'm not very experienced with shaders or shader graph, so it took a little while to figure out how to do some of these effects as simple as they may be. However, once I managed to put everything together in a coherent manner, it came out looking quite nice. Now this is done with two separate shaders, one for the water itself and another for the warping effect of the textures at the bottom of the little ponds. I'll start with the simpler of the two, the warping texture shader. Basically all I'm doing here is offsetting the texture's UV coordinates with some scrolling noise. This causes the texture to distort, giving the impression of looking through water or maybe even some type of stained glass. Next is the water shader itself. This was a little tricky to figure out how to get to look just right, and it has two main components to it. The scrolling overlapping textures and the noise based foam. As you might have guessed by the name, the scrolling textures are just, well, two textures that scroll overlapping one another. In this case, they're made of noise. There is a little more to it though. This next part is difficult to explain, but I'm going to try my best. Basically, there's two threshold values for clipping pixels based on their brightness, so to speak. One removes any pixels whose brightness exceed that threshold value, and the other is for excluding pixels below the threshold value. This allows for a very soft looking, almost a ripply surface that kind of resembles water with these little splotches of foam added in. For a better demonstration of what I'm talking about, I suggest giving Jasper's video a watch. I'm going to drop a link in the description. Next for the main source of foam, I'm just grabbing the scene depth here and using some scrolling noise to add to the parts of the water shader that are more shallow relative to the camera. Finally, I layer these two effects together to get the complete water shader. The final touch is putting the two shaders together in the scene to generate the illusion of water. As you can see here, there's a mesh for our water layers, and below that is a material with the warp texture shader applied to it. That's it. That's the whole effect and that's all there is to it. For anybody interested, I have this project with everything shown in the video, textures, shaders, and the model, all uploaded to my GitHub page so you can download it and play around with it for yourself. If you watched this far into the video, I want to thank you for your time, and if you liked it, maybe leave a like down below. That's all, and have a great rest of your day. Till next time.